A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. On this final full day of Lent, we hear Matthew's version of the betrayal of Jesus having heard John's version yesterday. Surely not I, the twelve say to Jesus, one after another. Surely not I, says Judas. Surely not I, say each of us, and yet we know all too well how easily and often we betray Jesus. It should be remembered that both Peter and Judas are betrayers. The difference being that Peter allows himself to be forgiven, while apparently Judas did not. We come to Jesus now asking pardon for our betrayals, both small and great. Amen. <laughs>